Good afternoon, Golden Eagle fans. I am Tech Man, along with my co-host, Asher Nicholson. Hey, everybody. And we are bringing you another broadcast of the OVC in Tennessee Tech football. Today, we are facing off against the TSU Tigers after a great victory last week, 52-20 over the Southeast Missouri Red Hawks. And today marks the first day of the Alvin C. York Trophy Series. Well, Tech Man, what is the Alvin C. York Trophy Series? The Alvin C. York Trophy Series is four teams in Tennessee colleges, Austin P, TSU, UT Martin, and Tennessee Tech. They all play each other, and whoever has the most wins out of that series gets the Alvin C. York Trophy. And today we will be deciding who goes up in the record between TSU and TTU, but let's get down on the field as our Golden Eagles are ready to start here in Tucker Stadium in Cookville, Tennessee. It's a cold one out there today. Yeah, it's a little chilly. I'm glad we've got the heat on up here in the booth. <clears throat> and so it looks like TSU will be kicking off the football. I think they won the coin toss and they deferred. So Tech will be receiving the ball first. It's good to have play between Tennessee colleges. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a different kind of... Different kind of rivalry, different kind of competitiveness. Uh, it brings a great, great addition to the sport. In fact, the OVC had the first sportsmanship uh, rules in the conference in all of the U.S. because these rivalries between these Tennessee schools would get so heated because they're all so close to each other. <laughs> and so you have a lot of hometown boys just going at each other's throats. Let's see what Bailey Fisher has cooked up. Immediately fires to Tavon Kilpatrick. Who drops the ball? But that brings up second and ten. Ball on the 20. Day Day Guest lining up to the left of Bailey Fisher. Bailey Fisher drops back. He's going to roll out with it, but is dropped behind the line. By the left end, that's going to be qualified as a sack. Yeah, taking a look at that, I'm 99% I'm sure that was a design run. He didn't really take any time to look through any of the progressions. The ball was snapped. Yeah, I mean, it just took a split second, and he was already running. It was, and it was a design run to the right, but he should have ran left, zigged when he should have zagged, and now we've got third and 15. Fisher drops back. It's a design run again and again. He's brought down by the left end. Just poor blocking on the right side of the Golden Eagles offensive line. Who was blocking the assignment? It was Trevor Stevens, the right tackle out of Woodstock, Georgia, who number 88 just keeps getting passed. And we already have a three and out. Ball on the 11. And Blake Alberts will be punting from Tech's own end zone. It's not a good way to start, Tech man. Um... At least out of last week, we're coming back off a very, very strong win uh, where all aspects of the ball were playing very well. And at least right now, the office isn't there yet. No, it is not. That punt return will bring the Tigers at midfield. Let's see what they have ready for the Golden Eagles. Jaquan Coles on the right side of Tech's defense. There's a snap. Oh, Jaquan Coles, not fooled by the play action, immediately sacks the quarterback. That's a loss of four on the play. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I'm starting to sense that this is going to be a defensive heavy game. All right. I'm not a doctor either, but it's second and 14. Ball on the 46. <laughs> it's a toss play, and he is brought down by Clay Mazengill. Who is not a doctor either. Not yet. Uh, what, what's he majoring in, do we know? Oh, he is uh, majoring in uh, his, his doctorate in football. I don't know. But! Jaquan Coles in on the sack again! Mr. Cornrows needs money. Every, I think, yes, every single play... For TSU has gone backwards so far. Well, every single play for T 
since the tech has also gone backwards. Incorrect. We had that incomplete pass to okay. Tevin Kilpatrick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me re, let me restate that. <laughs> All drives have gone backwards so far. <laughs> it's going to be fair caught. Look at that field position. Yeah, at the 26, much farther forward. At the 27, much farther forward than where we started and where we ended at the 11-yard line. Got to so, start somewhere. Better start forward. Golden Eagles trying to get on a good start. Fisher drops back, fires to Metrius Fleming. That throw good for maybe two. Yeah, he looks like he's about to get blown up. Kurt Huff, the left tackle, um, wasn't able to keep his block going. And it looks like the Tigers just have a force up front. And the Golden Eagles have to be careful if they are going to score any points today. Hand off to Day Day. Guess who's got a hole up the middle? And he's able to punch it forward to about the 44 yard line. They'll mark him a yard further. And that's a first down Golden Eagles. Yeah, this is exactly what we want to see. We want to get the, the run game started, and the passing game is going to take a minute. So now that we know that the run game is going to be successful, let's punch it in. Let's get it Let's get it going. Let's get it roaring. Um, or soaring. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Another handoff to Day Day Guest, who is bebopping his way three yards forward. Call it two. Uh, just need better blocking on, on all aspects. This offensive line not having a good day so far. Bailey Fisher is in the zone after handing it off twice. Let's see what he's got. He drops back. He's surveying the field. He fires and it's intercepted. And he is brought down by Metrius Fleming at the 47-yard line. This is a pretty foul start. And Day Day Guess not having anything morphing through those two players to get back to the sideline. Uh, the cornerback for TSU, great story behind that. He was homeless for 30 years until TSU took him in. And now he's a star player and a, a great prospect in the NFL draft. But at the 47... <laughs> The 47 is where they're start. They bite on the play action, and he fires. It's intercepted by Terry Howell, Howell, who's running, and nobody's going to stop gonna him. Another He's going, and 10-5 touchdown, Jared Howell. Ladies, Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, the player of the game last week makes another return with another pick six. The Jared Howell last week had a 72-yard pick six and just put another one on his record. Nothing was getting in his way. Great job, Golden Eagles. And we are up six pending the extra point. I think that's the momentum changer that we needed to get us pushing in the right direction. So here comes Luke Maynard to kick the extra point. Willie Miller to hold. Snap, set, kick, and it is good. <laughs> Shake it, man. <laughs> Dang. Man's got some moves. And he's got something. With 327 left in the first quarter, Golden Eagles are up 7-0. to zero. Great defensive play, and like you said, this is going to be a def defensive game all the way through, I believe. Already two interceptions, one for each side of the ball. Here comes the kick. And the first kickoff for Tech is a loud one. He's going to bring it out of the end zone, and he's going to be brought down at the 22, maybe the 23. Oh, no! Christian Watson is injured on the play. The safety, the sophomore out of Duluth, Georgia. That's going to be a hard blow to Tech's defense. Yeah, it's I'm kind of wondering what he got tangled up in to get injured on a special teams play. 
I don't know. Quarterback is under center. Starting out there 23, he drops back. He's going to throw, but immediately brought down by Bryson Tolley. That's going to be a gain of two. And this quarterback, he's also got a great storyline behind him. He's done great this season, uh, having a completion rating over 60%. At a very young age, he was born, and he hands it off to the halfback. It's third and eight. Golden Eagles ball on the 25. Quarterback drops back, surveying the field. He fires. It's tipped. Tipped. Incomplete. By number seven, Michael Scavo. And that brings up fourth down. Great. Tech defense. This punt return team trying to pump up the crowd. Here's the kick. It's a booming punt. And Jared Howell is going to bring it out. He's got a lane. He's going to the He's 40, going. to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And Jared Howell has another touchdown on the game. Look at that. Total offense, <laughs> negative 13 to 11 today. But Tech is up 13 to 0. Jared Howell is literally carrying this team on his back. Uh, which is surprising because uh, he commits way too much to this team he got injured a few weeks ago, had to take a trip down to the Cookville Waterworks, but here's the kick by Luke Maynard, and it is good. Something about that water here. I think that guy's had some of it. We got dance moves on both sides of the field. Same guy. Yeah. But they, they were they were on different sides of the field. One of them was in front of the press box. That one was on the visitor side. Mm. Maybe there maybe he ran in between. Yeah, in he between probably. Just <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the track around Tucker Stadium, easy access. Overall field is open to the public. Another booming kick backed up by the ROTC cannon. And TSU will start their drive on the 20. Jaquan Coles may be looking for another sack. Their halfback is in the zone. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops out. And he's sacked by Jaquan Coles! I called it. I was going to offer you this, this telephone, but it doesn't seem like you need it, Techman. <laughs> Three tackles, two sacks on the day for Jaquan Coles, blowing up the offensive line. That quarterback. Yeah, it didn't look like they stood a chance there. He was, he was, he was scooting. The quarterback needs to be able to throw the ball off quicker, um, right. but Tech is just hitting him too much, and that's, that's going to affect his play. This looks like it might be a running play to the right. Tech better watch out. No, he's going to drop back. He's going to load up the deep ball. Super deep ball. It is intercepted, intercepted by number 28, Slater Howard. And he's going to bring it out to about the 42-yard line. Call it the 43. And what did we say? Defensive battle. Yeah, the, the defense in this game has definitely been the first, on, on both sides of the ball, have been the first ones to step up and, and get off the bus. The offenses are still kind of still kind of waiting. Tech and TSU, two teams with a huge rivalry between them, very close to each other. Looks like Christian Watson will be out for the rest of the game. Bailey Fisher is going to play action and throw. He was hit as he threw, and... He's going to be lucky that that wasn't intercepted. Yeah, it looked like it was double coverage there. I mean, he was good getting the ball out. That way we didn't lose any yardage, but it was, could have very easily been contested. Absolutely. But these two juggernauts of the Ohio Valley Conference have both have great records. And Bradley Clark, who was calling for the ball, steps out of bounds as he's catching it. So that's going to be another incomplete pass. Set. 
But third and ten, ball on the 43. Fisher drops back, waiting, throws across his body, Ooh. and another lucky throw. Both quarterbacks have only completed one pass. Fisher has one interception. TSU's quarterback has two. But, you know, these two teams, it's hard to get anything going because they're so tough on each other. TSU has only lost one game in conference play. Tech is currently undefeated. This punt will be fair caught. Uh oh, did we? Can we get that? Looks like TSU will recover that, but they are going to start their drive on the five-yard line. This is great defensive field position. And I bet their quarterback is nervous. He's he's on the field quickly after getting hit so much. Could we have a safety in this game? Running back, dinking and dunking his way to about the seven yard line. Call it the eight, second and seven. TSU looking for anything to get going their way. Quarterback under center. Drops back. Throws to his right, and it is caught on that screen, and he's got a running lane. Luckily, Jamal Thompson was able to catch up with him and stop them from getting a touchdown there. He he was wide open on that one. Yeah, Bryson Tolley was a uh, player for the coverage there, and it looked like he either tried to make a play on the ball or, or bid into it, and he was able to get to the outside and make a pretty decent gain. Got to watch those flats out to the side. But first and ten for TSU. He throws it out to his left, overshoots his receiver, and that goes out of bounds. Tech has two passing yards. Everybody lined up. This is a strong set. It's going to be a play action. And oh, almost sacked. Lucky to get it off. Jamal Thompson was streaking in. That's going to be third and ten. Ball on the 45. We've got 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Tennessee Tech up 14-0. Quarterback going to be under center. Mazengill and Slater see something. Quarterback drops back. He throws, and whoa, that were that was that receiver was hit pretty hard into double coverage. Yeah, it looked like uh, Jared Howell was able to bat it down. An odd play, but that brings up fourth down, and here comes the punter for TSU. Another long punt, and Jared Howell is going to fair catch it at the 15-yard line. Yeah, he's got to take a break. He, <laughs> yeah. He can't breathe very well. Can't can't score every time you touch the ball. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be too unfair. So here comes Bailey Fisher and the gang. Day Day Gist lining up to his left. We've got 36 seconds left in the first quarter. It's going to be a handoff to Day Day Gist, who's got some running. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he spins. Oh, he's turning on the Jets, and he's down to the 20, to the 10. And Day Day Gist on his first handoff of this drive. Touchdown, Golden Eagles. 85 yards by Day Day Gist. Great blocking up front, able to turn the corner, make a spin move. Quinton Cross gets in on a block, a critical block by Quentin Cross. And Day Day Gist able to use his legs to get into the end zone. Nobody even got close. No, not by far. And so with 25 left in the first quarter, Tech is up 20 to 0, pending the extra point kick by Luke Maynard. What a great way to start your series for the Alvin C. York Trophy. So 
So here comes Blake Alberts to kick it off. Pass! Whew. ROTC cooked up a special one today. He's going to bring it out from the end zone, powering his way forward, and TSU will start their drive on the 21-yard line. So the quarterback under center, audibling at the line. Tech showing blitz. They bring the heat, and here he comes, Seth Carlisle, lining up behind Jaquan Coles. And that quarterback did not see what was coming towards him. Not at all. So clock is winding down. We are within 10 seconds left in the first quarter. If they hike the ball, this will be the last play of the quarter. They do. Quarterback drops back. Throws to his right. He catches it. And that should be the last play of the quarter. So it is at the end of the first quarter. Golden Eagles are up 21-0 over the TSU Tigers. And like I said, great start for the Alvin C. York Trophy. Yeah, it Offense was a little slow to start. We were able to get the run game awake, but as for the player of the game so far, mm -hmm. Jared Howell is definitely our guy. He scored two touchdowns, one on a punt return and one on a pick six. As excited as I am to be 21-0, and mm -hmm. in terms of offensive play, we only have one touchdown. So we've just got to wake this offense up a little more. We do. And get the ball moving. But so far, so good. The last time Tech was able to take home the Alvin C. York Trophy was the only time they were able to take it home, and that was in 2009. So, great start, and it looks like they have flipped the field, so let's continue this TSU drive as we go into the second quarter. So the Tigers do lead the overall series for the Sergeant York Trophy. And here he comes again, Seth Carlisle. Another sack. <laughs> Amazing. And they just keep going further and further towards their own end zone. And that brings up fourth down. Like I was saying, TSU leads the series for the Sergeant York Trophy, winning it five times. Uh, last time they won it was in 2013, but for the last three years, that honor has gone to Austin P. They've only won it three times, but they won it in 17, 18, and 19. Jared Howell on the return will bring the ball to the 48. So Bailey Fisher will line up under center. Play action to Day-Day Guess. He throws to his left, and there he is, Ethan Cobb, with his first catch of the game. Good for three yards. Takes us across midfield to TSU's 49. Wide receivers after their first catch of the game. Ah, our first catch of the day. <laughs> what? It's from Star Wars. Ah, yes. Fisher under center. Hands it off to Dede. Guess oh. who stiff arms? Here and great blocking. Another one. Oh, tripped up by his shoelaces. Wow. Look at that yardage. Dede gets four for 135 today. Let's take a look at another this. Let's take a look at another. Who was that blocker up front? That was number 74, Ellis Adams. Yeah, that stiff arm hurt me, and we're all the way up here. Woo! Good job, Golden Eagles. Stop! Hammer time. <laughs> so, 16 total yards to 131 on the Golden Eagles side. Gist is in the backfield. They're going to call his name once more, and... He's going to gain about three on the play. So, 
550 remaining in the first half. Golden Eagles are in the red zone. Ball on the 14. If I'm not mistaken, this is our first trip to the red zone. <laughs> it is. Day Day Guest gave a passing glance, and there he is, Ethan Cobb! Ooh, barreling his way towards the end zone, tackled at about the two yard line, and the Golden Eagles are really close to another score. Yeah, this is exactly what we wanted to see. We had an offense have a slow start in the first quarter, but now they've woken up. Obviously, they've gotten off the bus. They're here, and they're ready to play. And they are finally catching up on time of possession. Dede Guess will get the ball, and Touchdown, he, Golden Eagles. He punches it in for a two-yard run. Tech is up 27-0 over the Tigers. Just great hard blocking up front. And Tennessee Tech is just rinsing the Tigers today. So here comes Luke Maynard to kick. And the extra point attempt is good. Tennessee Tech is up 28 to zero. We've got 521 remaining in the first half. This game's moving by rather quickly. Yes, but I, I also feel that by the end, we are going to be really tired. <laughs> yes, I'm already slightly tired <laughs> now. He's already yawning, folks. But I, I'm sure Coach Alexander just loves the results of this game so far. Everybody is, is starting to wake up. Defense was already doing their part. Special teams started doing their part. And now the You're offense right is catching up. Say it. Okay? I had... So he's going to bring it out to the 38-yard line. A great return by the TSU kick returner. And they've they've got some pretty good starting field position. They do take, take another look at the stats there. Tennessee Tech rushing is now up to 131. And the TSU Tigers are now at negative 33. Good Lord. So it's going to be a toss play to the halfback who bounces off one man. And is able to punch it forward. Brought down finally by number 37, Jake Huner. The safety out of Thompson Station, Tennessee. Brings up second and four. Ball on the 44. Jaquan Coles is in the zone. Bunch set to the right. This means they usually target the receiver to the left. Play action. Rolls out. Fires Ooh, diving, diving catch. catch. And they have crossed midfield. First down, Tigers. I'm not a Tiger fan by any means, but that was a good catch. Yeah. You, you got to recognize, like, game recognizes game. So, good catch. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Big dog, big dog. Another toss play. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. Old torpedo head, number 46, Sam Oldham. <laughs> With the the Senate's whirlwind attack from Star Wars Episode Three, Sam Oldham takes the running back down. That was a bit of a callback, isn't it? Yeah. So second and fifteen. That was a loss of five on that play. Quarterback drops back. He's throwing ooh, ooh, into a tight window, but he can't bring it down. Almost batted down. Third and 15, ball on the 50. They are 0 for 4 on third down conversions. Audibling at the line. Quarterback drops back. He's rolling out. Oh, and he's hit as he throws by Josh Lee. And that's a fourth down. I'm not sure how many more uh, hits this quarterback is going to be able to take. No, if he's not careful, he's going to get injured. Yeah, and this O-line needs to step it up. So here's the punt. A high rainbow kick 
fair caught at about the 14. So with 3.58 left in the first half, Golden Eagles have the ball again. What will they have now? I'm sure they've got plenty of trick plays. Kurt Taylor Jr. is in the game at fullback. Day Day Gist will get the ball. Bounces out. Able to gain about four on the play. So that that keeps the clock running. Yeah, definitely. With Especially being up 28-0 in the first half go ahead and just run out this clock there's no reason to have any f fancy trick plays like you were saying now maybe if they come back a little bit we can try to pull it out mess it around with it but there's no reason at this point we can honestly just run out the clock for the rest of the game exactly you should just keep running the ball or go play action whatever you want to do throw it to Tavin Kilpatrick who catches the ball and he brings it out to about the 31 yard line Bailey Fisher three consecutive completions Making him, I think, 5 for 10 on the day? That's at least 2. Yep. So, a first down for the Golden Eagles. He was tackled in bounds. Got to watch out. One of their defensive linemen is in That's the zone. Direct snap. Wow, direct snap to Denny Gist, who's weaving through for the first down. Look at that. Yards per carry, 19.3. That's a great stat to have. Anything anything less than a hundred will hurt hurt the average. <laughs> so total yardage. Tech 257. TSU 115. Fisher drops back to throw. Bumps into Day Day Giss, so he runs it forward. And a good run gains about eight yards. Second and two, ball on the 49. <clears throat> They've crossed midfield. Bailey Fisher saying something. Yeah, I think you said he did it. So, we are within the 230 mark. Another direct snap to Day Day Guest, who shakes the tackle. Free. He's still going. He's still going. He's got blocking up front. One man trying to beat him, and he pushes him out of bounds. That's Yards true. after contact, 157 for Day Day Guest. It's going to be another successful direct snap, and Nitty Guess is on fire today. Granted, he's pretty much on fire almost every game that he plays. Touched three times before he's pushed out of bounds. Great running by Day Day Guest, and another first down for the Golden Eagles, who are in the red zone again, and the clock is stopped, so I guess you go for more points. Look at that, Tennessee Tech. Ten times the amount of yardage that TSU has. And Bailey Fisher it's just going to toss it out to Day Day Gist. They got the first down. I think they're going to spot it right around the three. They do pick up the first down. I'm sure Di I'm sure Bailey Fisher could have held on to that ball and taken it into the end zone. But first and goal, ball on the four for the Golden Eagles. And everybody is on the line. They're going to try to punch this one in. It looks like they're going to maybe bring Kurt Taylor Jr. into the game plan. A great blocker and a great runner, but they, Bailey Fisher's going to throw to, ooh, Metrius Fleming, who's unable to bring it down, and he is stunned that he didn't catch that. Right. Coach Alexander preaching to his team this week that grit was what they needed. And that run gains no yards, but grit is what keeps the wheels turning. You don't want to lose any momentum. So you just got to keep chugging along. That's what Coach Alexander is saying. Fisher drops back, looking. He fires, and it's intercepted, and he's going to be brought down. And with a minute 36 left, Tech was within four yards of a touchdown. Fisher throws his second interception of the day. Intended for Quentin Cross, who was just beat on his route. It kind of looked like defensive pass interference as he could not run his route. But finally, DJ Worthy was able to bring him down. 
and TSU has the ball on their own 36. First and 10, a minute 36 left in the first half. Will TSU be able to put up any points? Let's see. Quarterback drops back. And <gasps> it's intercepted. Another time. Who's running? And he's going, turning on the Jets. Ah! Tripped up by his shoelaces. Michael Scavo brings it up to the TSU 7. Michael Scavo with that interception puts Tech almost where they were. <laughs> hey, you want another chance? Here you go. Yeah, so Michael Scavo able to pick up the first down for the Golden Eagles. Let's see what they can do now. DJ Worthy is in the halfback position, not Day Day Gist. And they will call his number, and he is in! Touchdown, Golden Eagles, a seven-yard run by DJ Worthy, the halfback out of Kennesaw, Georgia. And Tech is up 34-0 after the interception by Michael Scavo. Wow, taking down everybody. Amazing run by DJ Worthy. That was a great run, especially for a second stringer. You know, it's, it's someone you don't see on the field quite enough, but he's, he's done his job in sealing up games for us earlier this season. Yes, his number is usually called when we need to run out the clock, and he's done well. And now he's got a touchdown for the day. And Luke Maynard delivers on the extra point. Tack is up 35-0. to zero. It's looking good. Sure is, Tech Man. So here comes another kickoff by Blake Alberts. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> the ref playing softball here. <laughs> here, let me get into this huddle real quick. <laughs> so, TSU will start on their own 20-yard line. Quarterback Watch looking. Out, here comes the defense. Fires a bullet to his left, and it was too fast for his wide receiver to catch. Yeah, he was zipping that football right out of there. Uh, he had no time. So, after the incomplete pass, maybe hand it off to your halfback who is in the zone. Quarterback under center. They do hand it off. He's running forward. He pushes plenty of men down. Gains about four on the play. Yep, third and six. They finally have some positive yardage. Look at that. Amazing. Neither team has been able to convert a third down today. Tech showing blitz. Yep. And here comes the pressure. They rush five and two of them get there. As the quarterback is sacked, Jaquan Coles with his third sack of the day. Coach Alexander is very, very pleased. As are we, Tech Man. I can't wait to count out these sacks at the end of this game because it's been astronomical. I know. So that fourth down, we are still in the first half. Good God. I know. <laughs> we got 23 seconds left. Uh, luckily, they are winding down the play clock. Who and we're within 15 seconds, a rainbow kick, and he's going to bring this one out, and ooh. Impressive dive. Yeah. So, they will start their drive at the 44-yard line. Tech has all their timeouts, 11 seconds left, up 35-0. to zero. What do you do? Sounds like they're going to throw deep and risk an interception. Well, all their quarterbacks are out. And it looks like Dede Gist is lined up to the right for the play action. 
all the time in the world looking for the deep ball. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Quentin Cross with the 56 yard reception for the touchdown. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow! That ball went into the stratosphere. <laughs> and here comes Luke Maynard to kick the extra point. I knew it. With four seconds left. Oh my god, Coach Alexander. Not holding anything back. The kick is good. Tech is up. 42 to 0. Hey, you know what they say. Game recognizes game. <laughs> game <laughs> recognizes game. We called it. Because we know. <laughs> we know that Coach Alexander just wants to destroy every team. Oh, it's 4th and 23 <laughs> on my own 5 yard line? <laughs> Hail Mary. Oh my goodness. <laughs> huh. oh, so this kickoff should end the first half. It's going to be a touchback. <laughs> and then they're going to get the ball again. It is going to be a touchback. <laughs> Three seconds left. What will TSU <laughs> pull out of their hats? Whew. <laughs> Better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Quarterback under center. So they'll probably run this out and Tech will call a timeout. <laughs> they do. They hand the ball off. And he's going to gain about seven on the play. And that'll end the first half. Thankfully, the clock runs out and doesn't give Tech time to call the timeout. <laughs> Tech fans rejoice at halftime. We are up 42 to 0. <laughs> it's been an interesting game so far. <laughs> uh, especially that last <laughs> touchdown. Oh my gosh, that was insane. But, oh my goodness, so far, Tech is dominating this game. Jaquan Coles able to get to the quarterback three times Tennessee State has been sacked five times while Bailey Fisher has been hit twice and while total offense for both teams it could not be further apart Tech has 293 yards they are almost at 300 while Tennessee State is just over 30 yards in total offense. Hey, somebody's got to. Somebody's got to. And just... the even, even rushing. Tech has attempted 15 rushing plays for a total amount of 206 yards, while Tennessee State, 13 times for negative 26 yards. That, that also takes into account none of the positive runs that you've had. You've just been sacked so many times. Yeah. It loses so much yardage. It's but, been a very dominant game by the Tennessee Tech defense, and the Tennessee Tech offense has actually shown up. You know, they showed up right at the beginning of the second quarter and have obviously been able to lay down the law. But it looks like the Golden Eagle marching band is out there for their halftime show, so let's see what they've got cooked up today. So we are beginning the second half after that amazing performance by the Golden Eagle Marching Band, which you should never sleep on. They are an amazing group. So talented. And Tech will kick off for the second half. Everybody is pumped. Cookville is electric right now. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're winning <laughs> by a very large margin. And not just winning, but just dominating. And right you are, as that kick is fielded at the four, and he is tackled immediately when he meets the line. You know that cannon almost gets louder as the day progresses. It does. I'm, I'm starting to starting to feel some side effects of it. You know, tinnitus is a real problem. On the goose, on the goose. Hot. So the quarterback drops back. He's surveying the field. He fires to his right. And it is ooh, ooh. broken up by Seth Carlisle. Receiver had the ball in his hands, but he was just hit too hard. Yeah, another showing of the defensive dominance so far in today's game. 
And that brings up second and ten. Ball on the 21. Tech's defense is just amazing today. It's going to be a play action. And it's intercepted! Oh my goodness, what an amazing play by Bryson Tolley. Whoa! He got really low for that. Jaquan Coles hit the quarterback. And that changed the direct... Wow! Look at that play. Amazing. I don't even know what to say. Tech's defense is amazing today. And Tech has the ball on their 29-yard line. 6.50 left. Full house set for Bailey Fisher. Hands it off to Day-Day Guest, who's tackled behind the line. Can't win them all. That's his first loss of yardage. That, that hurts negative. the average a little bit. Well, anything under 100 yards hurts the average. <laughs> yeah. So, second and 12, ball on the 31. Uh, Matrius Fleming is in the zone, so maybe if they have some one-on-one -on -one coverage, you throw it to him. Fisher drops back. He's going to roll out, and he's going to reach for the first down, be about a yard short. But when attacking the right side of the line, Tech has about won every single battle. They, they've they gained almost 200 yards on just that side of their line. Yeah, both of uh, Daddy Guest's bigger runs have been on the right side. And so here we go. Will Tech be able to convert their first third down of today? Fisher drops back. And he throws to Ethan Cobb. Who is? Oh, what? How did he not get in? Reach your arm out. He touched the pylon. Oh, my God. Ooh, look at those creepy people. Right <laughs> I know, I was just That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Poor Ethan Cobb, unable to get a touchdown. He's he's gotten so close on two plays today. Tripped up at the four yard line and Day Day Gist another touchdown. Oh wow, Day Day Gist having a day today. A one yard touchdown run. And Tech is up forty eight to zero after the interception. This isn't legal, is it? Sadly it is. But Bryson Tolly kick-starting this drive for the Golden Eagles. And here comes Luke Maynard for the extra point. How many points do you think we're going to score today? I don't know. At this point, we could probably reach 80. I thought that this was going to be a close game. I also thought it was going to be a very close game, especially after our matchup last year. Uh, yeah, exactly. That was a very close game. and uh, But here comes Tex kicking team. Here comes the kickoff. Oh my goodness. It just gets louder and louder. In the end zone, he's bringing it out. And he's he almost bounced out, but ultimately he's going to be brought down at the 18-yard line. So, quarterback has been hit too many times today. They've actually brought out their second stringer. So, their second stringer will start today after their starting quarterback got hit too many times. It's going to be a play action, and he's brought down. Oh, my Lord. This is a very stark contrast from last year's game where the Golden Eagles lost 27-37 to to the Tigers. But now, everybody's getting in on it. Now, Devin Squires... The freshman out of Kings Mill, Ohio, comes up with his first sack of the day. Yeah, it's that part of the game where we're ready to call another half of the roster sheet. <laughs> and it looks like they are being brought out. Here comes Xavier Washington, the right outside linebacker. He's in, and he gets a tackle. Amazing how I just called his name, and he gets a tackle. Wow. That's like, I can see these things. I have a... 
Forethought. It's called Tech Vision. Tech Vision. And no, it's not just saying words with tech in front of them because he's tech man. Oh for six on this tech third down. And he's Another sacked it. Sack. Ooh! Heavy hit by Jamal Thompson. Seven sacks on the day for Tennessee Tech and four interceptions. And those both go with each other. When you throw an interception, you hold on the ball for longer because you want to throw it when the conditions are just right. When you do that, defense hits you behind the line and you get sacked. When you get sacked, you need to release the ball quicker and you make bad decisions and you throw interceptions. And this is exactly what happens. You get fourth down and you're punting from your own end zone. A huge kick. Jared Howell. Oh, it's not Jared Howell. That is Bradley Clark from Lakeland, Florida. And here comes Willie Miller in the game. So, you know the rules, folks. First throw, it's got to be an, an interception. An interception. First and 10, 10, ball on the 48. Willie Miller's going to keep it, and he's going to be tripped up. He's oh. able to reach across the line to make to prevent a loss of yardage but still ball on the 48 second and 10 clock is winding down dj worthy and blake metzger are in the game willie miller fires Ooh, and it's to ethan cobb who's got the first down guard. Yeah, that was, a, that was a bullet coming out of his hands there. Very impressive throw by Willie Miller. Yeah, the, the pocket collapsed, and he was able to move off to the left side. It's going to bring up first and ten on the 32-yard line. Play action. Miller throws, and oh, it was almost there. Almost intercepted. Intended for the fullback, Blake Metzger. So second and ten, ball on the TSU 32. 350 left in the third quarter. Miller calling an audible. He play, plays action and he dumps it off to Blake Metzger who gains about four. Gains five on the play. So third and five. Tech has only converted one third down today. Let's see if Willie Miller has any Magic and see if he can convert this one. Gonna be a play action in. He's he's hit as he throws. It's gonna be an incomplete pass. So fourth and five. This will be the first field goal attempt of Tech today. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I saw too many familiar faces. I was like, wait a minute, don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, no. <laughs> So, Luke Maynard from the right hash kicks, and it is good. So, Tech has broken 50 points today, up 52 to 0 over the Tigers from TSU. So, here comes another kickoff by Blake Alberts. Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles are up 52-0 over the Tennessee State Tigers. And this one will be brought out to about the 23-yard line. Yep. And that is where TSU will start their drive with their backup quarterback because they know nothing has really gone well, so they've got to try anything to get points on the board. Well, at this point, are they trying anything, or are they just accepting the loss? Well, obviously nothing was working, so I'd say they're trying anything, and this halfback's got some promise as he pushes one man off to get through another, and he gains five on the play. Is that Derek Henry? He is number 22. From Nashville. TSU does play in Nissan Stadium. That's Derrick Henry. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I don't want to play on Saturday. Quarterback dropped back. 
And he's going to keep... Oh, my gosh. Terrible call. Did you see number 79? He was facing backwards. <laughs> he was facing the quarterback. He was doing <laughs> this to the quarterback. <laughs> Ooh. I'm blocking. Look, watch, watch, watch. Number 79 to your left. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll pick up that block. Doesn't pick up the block. Um, looks like Sam Darnold is having a tough day today. He's seeing ghosts. <laughs> And again, it's he doesn't see anything on the field. You have to throw that ball away. You don't have to take the ball into your own hands. And 0 for 7 on third down. Let's see what they can do. And he's going to throw to his... It's intercepted. intercepted! Wow! Who was that? I think the number was number 9. I don't think that's an accurate jersey uh, number, though. Well, it, it has to be because that's Bradley Clark. I... And I think we have seen him on the field before. He usually fills in for the cornerback spot. Interesting. And and remember, we did have one safety get injured today. That's true. Who, who was out for the game. And so that's where Tech will start their drive. Willie Miller hands it off to DJ Worthy, who picks up about four on the play. So 225, clock counting down in the third quarter. Tech is getting dangerously close to scoring again. But you would like to see more production than just a field goal on this drive. Willie Miller hit as he throws, but he gets it off Ethan to Ethan Cobb. Cobb. He's a makes spin a spin. A poor Ethan Cobb. He's, Ethan Cobb is a, a, he's a workhorse today, and he gets so close to the end zone, but he just can't get across the plane. Takes it to the 12. Golden Eagles are in the red zone. Well, hopefully they'll give him another chance today because if he's already been successful, more than likely he's he's on their list. So Two for three for touchdowns in the red zone um, after Bailey Fisher threw that one interception. And that run by DJ Worthy will pick up one just under two minutes in the third quarter. Tech is able to pick up another first down if they get to the two or one yard line. Miller drops back. He's going to run for it. He runs into his own man and is going to be stopped behind the line. Yeah, I could tell the hole he was going for, but instead of going through the hole, he just ran into his own guy. Sometimes that's hard to see, so that brings up third and nine. You saw just a bit earlier, they just converted their first third down. Watch out, their defensive lineman is in the zone. Miller throws. Ooh, dangerously close to being intercepted. And so that brings up fourth down, and I'm sure they'll bring the field goal unit out again. Here comes Luke Maynard. One for one on the day. After a 45-yard kick, this one a chip shot from 28 yards. Here's the hold and the kick, and it is good. So magic number 55 for the Golden Eagles. And we've got just over a minute left in the third quarter as Blake Alberts is coming out to kick off the ball. Great performance by Tech. Uh, you, see, you see a slowdown in production now that we've got the... Uh, the second stringers out, but they're still scoring points. Yeah, they're making uh, very solid contributions, and they're moving the ball well. Um, oh. Yeah, so the defense is stopping the Tennessee State offense. Uh, we haven't been able to really see the second string special team so far, except for that one return by Bradley Clark, who is, as, as I'm just now thinking about it, he is the second string for um, Jared Howell. Which is weird that you'd have a wide receiver back up your cornerback, but that's what's happening. And there he is! Oh my god! Another interception, and he's going tripped up by shoelaces. Jamal Thompson... He's had a pretty successful game, yeah. As long, along with Jared Howell, we may even have co-player of the game. D so many players can get player of the game today. He just read the quarterback's eyes right there. 
quarterbacks today for TSU having terrible days. And Tech is on the four-yard line in the red zone. 53 seconds left in the third quarter. Will they try to punch it in? TSU's got seven men in the box, and they will. DJ Worthy. It looks like he was maybe going to be able to inch it forward, but... At the one-yard line, second and goal. Just under 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Will they try again? And he's going to throw, and it's going to be touchdown. caught by Ethan Cobb, Thank the tight end. Goodness. A one-yard touchdown pass. Ethan Cobb finally gets his touchdown today after bringing us so close so many times. A tight window to throw that. into. It was a very tight window. It was a very good throw. But finally, the freshman out of Murfreesboro gets his touchdown today. Good job, Ethan Cobb. And Tech is up 61 to nothing with 32 seconds left in the third quarter. We're almost there. We're almost there. Here comes Luke Maynard for the extra point. Here's the snap and the hold, and the kick is good. So another kickoff by Blake Alberts. <gasps> so they are going to take a knee and bring this one out to the 20 yard line. Oh my God, there's still 31 seconds. <laughs> Woo, 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Asher's not having a fun time here. Happy Halloween, folks. <laughs> Quarterback under center. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw to his left to his halfback, who gains about two or three on the play. Call it three. And finally, the clock is winding down. This is what it did at the end of the half. <laughs> and then Tech scored again. Watch. I feel like they're going to go play action. He's going to try to throw it to his left, and he's going to throw an interception. Throws it to his right. And it's caught for a first down. You just, you just had to go and say it. Well, okay, look, that's their third first down of today. Pardon me for calling upon every other play in this game. <laughs> so three, two, one, and finally. So at the end of the third quarter, Golden Eagles are up 62 to zero over TSU. And the word dominance is an understatement. I am starting to see some people trickle out of here. Yeah, because at this point, there's. <laughs> I think they won. It, it's good to be at a game where you win, but at a certain point, you're like, I'll go home and eat. Yeah, I, I, it's kind of my mentality at this point. We've, <laughs> we've won. There's a whole other quarter left to play. Um, hey, we can go out there and play it at this point. We yeah, still come put, off with a win. Put us in, coach. Give me a helmet. Give me a. I've already got yeah, a jersey. Already, We've already got jerseys. you got a helmet, too. So and I've got a helmet. Them. So just put us in. But it looks like they have flipped the field. So TSU, they've got a first down. Ball on their own 37. Let's see what they can cook up, if anything, in this fourth quarter. So a bunch set to the right. Full of wide receivers. Quarterback going to hand it off to the halfback who maybe gains a yard on that play. Tech defense, although calling upon the second stringers, is still stout. Second and 10, ball on the 37. Just get more and more stops and please just run the ball. And let's end this game. Quarterback drops back. He throws, dumps it off to the halfback. Gains about four more. Gains five. That was, that was a short 
second and ten, so I'll say he gained four and an inch. And what do we know? What do I know? They still haven't been able to convert a third down. They won't hear. You just had to say something. <laughs> I'll sit here and drink my water. He drops back. He throws. He fires. And it's incomplete. What did I tell you? Broken up by Jake Huner, the safety out of Thompson Station. It's going to bring up fourth and five. And do they go for it or do they punt the ball? They're going to punt. They are going to punt. So he's had two punts inside the 20. He's got quite the leg. And this one will be a rainbow to Bradley Clark, who... Ooh. That's not Bradley Clark. Looks like Ashton Maples, the wide receiver. Oh, Ashton Maples. Wow. Good job call, calling on even more people. I think the goal at this point is get everybody that hasn't played at this point in the season, just get them out there. Yeah. Joe Dennis, why don't you give him the ball? He's a left guard, but I'm sure he... <laughs> so... Hands it off to DJ Worthy, who punches it forward for about four yards. Six rushes for 18 yards. Second and seven, ball on the 25. And with 5.50 left in the game, Tech should just be looking to run out the clock. But it looks like they uh, they are going to put Willie Miller in the gun and put three wide receivers out. As he drops back to throw, dumps it off to DJ Worthy. Okay, that was basically a run. Yep. <laughs> Just without the running part. So we're at third and four on the 28-yard line. Like and you said, they just, we just need to run the ball. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Just keep the ball and keep the clock running. Try to convert this third down. You're one for six on the day. Are they going to run it? Everybody's on the ground. Oh, a weird little talk. Oh, no. Did he get there? Justin Odin, the wide receiver on the sweep. Just a yard short. They're not going to go for it. How are you not going to go for that? Okay, fine. Here comes that was an interesting play call, though. That's something we haven't seen so far this season. No, it hasn't. Here comes Blake Alberts to punt. Maybe that's why we haven't seen it. <laughs> A, wow, a great kick at the 20 yard line brought down by Bradley Clark. And TSU will start their drive on their own 26. Quarterback under center. First and 10, ball on their own 26. Gonna play action. Roll to his left, roll to his right, back to his left, and he's going to throw. <gasps> that wide receiver was wide open. He was. I'm not sure if he was just not paying attention or what, but. Oh, my goodness. He should have been able to come down without You that. You should jump with all your might and catch that ball. You were wide open. Who knows? That could have been the momentum changer that T TSU needed. Yeah, they could have scored 63 points in a row, but. Now they're going to go back to the ground game, and it's going to gain them a yard. So with 4.30 left in the game, TSU has still not converted the third down. Come on, Tech. Oh, my God. Who was that? And a fumble, and it is recovered by TSU. Oh my goodness! Poor Jake Huner looked like he was buried on that play at the line. But still, Tech's defense holds up and brings up fourth down. Should have gotten that fumble. They should have. That that was Justin really Odin had a hand on it, and then it just appeared. In the other guy's hand. So, here comes Ashton Maples on the punt return. He's going to bring it out. He's going to spin move. Great move. And he's going to bring it out to about the 34-yard line. Somebody call an ambulance. That guy's ankles are broken. Ooh, Lord. So, first and 10 
The 33-yard line is where the Golden Eagles will start their next drive with 3.38 remaining in this game. This fourth quarter has gone by pretty quickly. It has. It's, it's, it's scooting. And, you know, as long as they keep running the ball and not play action, deep balling it, you know, it's, we should get out of here rather soon. Miller drops back. He's holding on to the ball too long, and he's met twice behind the line. TSU's coach is happy for that loss of four. It's, it's one of the most productive things they've done all day. Yeah. Hey, we did something. We. So second and 14. Jumbo set for the Golden Eagles. And they are running down the clock. Justin Odin in motion. Going to be a handoff to DJ Worthy, who's got some room out to the right. And he picks up what they lost and more as he takes it to the 36-yard line. Third and seven, Golden Eagles. We are within three minutes. You know, I I don't know much about football, but I think Tech's going to win. I think so, too. I'm no doctor. Uh, well, neither am I. But they might just have a chance. Wide receivers all out. Letting the clock run down. Snap. Miller drops back. Rolls out to his right. He throws Lost across the, the left. And it's caught by Justin Odin. And that's a first down for the Golden Eagles. First and ten. Ball on TSU's 42. I also love football. Thank you. I love football. I'm no doctor, but I love football. And it looks like Colby Alonzo is also on the field, the sophomore out of Franklin, Tennessee, in as a wide receiver. High formation. It means they're going to run it. it. Means it's going to be a play action. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch it be a play action. It's going to be a handoff to DJ Worthy, who's got blocking up front. And Blake Metzger able to gain Worthy a few more yards as that brings up second and one, ball on the 33. Yep, take a look at that stat. We have not run the ball on the left side. Wow. At all. We have not targeted the left side of our line. Yeah, that is one of those odd stats you see every now and then. Because we run it up the middle. And most of our runs have come out of the right, but we haven't even tried it up to left. So they are winding down this clock, and TSU is not stopping them. Another handoff to DJ Worthy, who is tackled behind the line. It's going to bring up third and two. Wow, Dady gets just a yard shy of 200, but sadly he's no longer in the game. Put him back in, Coach. Put him back in. Put him back in. Get him that extra yard. Will Tech convert on this third down? They are going to bring it within a minute. So Willie Miller hands it. Uh, another one of those jet sweeps. And finally, Justin Doden picks up the first down on that play. And... Looks like Tech will come away with the win today. Yeah, that first down is definitely going to seal this victory. Um, as we said earlier, all sides of the ball have played spectacularly uh, today. Um, and it's 62 to 0, absolute shutout. And we are within 40 seconds left in this game. Willie Miller will take the Golden Eagles to victory today. So he hands it off to DJ Worthy, who's breaking out to the left side and brings up second and two, though the right end for TSU is injured. He's holding his wrist. And that will stop the clock. Oh, no, it won't. This will be the second to last play. Or maybe the last. This will be the last play of the game. 
Hand off to DJ Worthy who picks up the first down. And with six seconds left, seven, seven. DJ Worthy celebrating. And finally they set the ball so the clock can keep rolling. Four, three, two, one. And your Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles have won the football game 62 to 0 over the TSU Tigers. They remain undefeated in Ohio Valley Conference play and are now 1 and 0 in the Sergeant York Trophy series. Great performances on all aspects of the game. Special teams and defense especially at the beginning and then the offense picked up just amazing performances especially with four seconds left in the first half a bomb by bailey fisher <laughs> to was, quentin uh, cross that one stressed me out a little bit Woo! <laughs> i can't wait to see the highlight reel for this week absolutely uh all sides of the ball absolutely uh showing their dominance and like they've been playing all season um i'm excited to see uh, how they're going to progress through the rest of the season and how their dominance is going to continue to be shown. Uh, so, Tech's second shutout of this year, their first one coming against the Murray State Racers two weeks ago, and now against the TSU Tigers. Blue team's not doing too well <laughs> against the purple and gold from Cookville, Tennessee. Not at all. But I am excited. We are going into our bye week this next weekend, so... Happy Halloween, folks! You've got the Saturday off. You don't have to watch us, and we can all go trick-or-treating. It's going to be great. Um, but the next week, we will travel to UT Martin. We're going to West Tennessee to take on the Skyhawks, and that will be the second game in the Sergeant York Trophy Series. We're playing all the games consecutively. The week after that, we've got Austin P for our homecoming game, which is very exciting. And I'm sure it's uh, two weeks from now it's going to be a great game against the Skyhawks. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have uh, two weeks to just get ready for this team. And the team is already in great shape. Uh, but I think we're going to be able to finish out this season very strong and finish out uh, these uh, trophy games and be able to come away with a win. I think we will finally this year, for the first time in 11 years, bring back the Sergeant York Trophy. But for everyone here today, an amazing game played by your Golden Eagles, 62-0, another shutout on the year. They remain undefeated in OVC play, and we are going into our bye week getting some much-needed rest. So for everyone here in Cookville, Tennessee, I am Tech Man. And I'm Ashton Nicholson. Telling you all good night, get some rest, and keep those wings up.